All right, guys. So for those of us that use Deriv Trading View implementation, we know that it's very difficult when it comes to saving the chart or even creating watch list. To save your chart, you have to go from A, B, C. You have to analyze the chart itself. You have to name it and do that repeatedly if you want to create a watch list for each and every of the indexes that you are looking to put on your watch list, right? So I think even Deriv themselves, they know that this is actually difficult. So a few days ago, I was you know analyzing the chart as usual and i found out that you can now save your chart and create watch list very easy kind of like they have brought these particular features from the regular trading view into this one because if you use the other trading view you don't have to do a lot of saving i think you don't have to save at all so they implemented these new features into their trading view you can easily save your chart with this feature you can create watch list with it and bro it's making it's kind of like making life easier for those of us that trade synthetic in this so in this video, I'm going to run through all of that. And for the sake of those people who don't trade synthetic or who are looking to get into trading synthetic or who are new to the broker itself, I'm going to show us how to find this trading view on your device. If you use the mobile phone, it works. If you use your laptop or iPad or any other device that you use, it works the same way. You just have to master it. So please don't forget to share. Don't forget to like if you find it helpful. Share it to those people who need to watch this, who have been struggling with the trading view. And please subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let's get started. All right, guys. So we're going to look at our chart now. And I'm going to explain to us how to save our chart without stress and how to create a watch list without stress. For those of us that are new, if you want to access this trading view on your phone or tablet or iPad or even your computer, just go to charts.derive.com on your browser. All right. So any browser can open this web application for us. All right. For those of us that already understand this, or for the sake of those that don't understand, I'm going to run through how to actually save charts, how we usually do it, right? So when you analyze your chart, let's say you open, we have VIX 100 one on the chart, right? We analyze VIX 100 one Let's just pull up analysis for illustration. So let's say we have this and that for our analysis on VIX 100 one right? And we are anticipating price to drop from here, pull up to this level, drop from here to continue the downtrend. Okay, so let's just have this as our illustration, right? If you analyze like this, what we usually do is that we have to click this save, all right? For me, I already love with Android One S. We have to click this save for this particular guy to be saved, all right? And if you want to access it, we have to now go to load and then we can access what Android One S. That's how we usually do it. And whenever you want to analyze new index, you have to come back to this sidebar here. And then delete the 100 ones that you have, you know, uh, searched. And then any other thing you want to analyze, you just click on it. When it loads up, after analyzing it, 25 index, this is 25 index, right? Let's analyze it roughly. We have this break of structure to the upside. Price is going to pull back to something significant. And then we can continue with the uptrend. So we have all of this liquidity. And then we have here as a point of interest. So let's hope that let, we are going to have that price going to come here. We're going to buy from that level to this level, right? Now, if I click on this save, we already know this one for those of us that are conversant with this index. If I click on this uh, with this trading view, if I click on this save, it's going to cancel our, you know, it's going to wipe away what we have from the VIX 101 days. I'm going to give us only in only 25 in there that is currently here. All right. So what we usually do is by clicking here, the drop down, and then we click on make a copy. Right. When you give us this copy, then then what we do is delete the this thing and then rename it 25 because this is 25 that we that we just analyzed, right? We name it VIX 25. This is how we usually save this stuff. And you can see that it's actually stressful when you have to go back there, come back here, go and do a copy, change the name and all that. It's, it's really, really stressful for us, right? So what we what the we have brought up right now, what um how to save the chart right now is very, very easy. Let me go back to my own. This is my watch list, right? This is my own. So let's delete all of these guys. Let's delete what we just illustrated. The one and two. Let's delete it. All right. So this is my watch list. And you can see that what I have under this watch list is 10 index. Right. We have 10 one is index under this watch list. All right. Now, first of all, if you want to save your chart, it's still the same way. You have to analyze the chart and then click on that save stuff over there. So we see save, right? We're going to click on that save to be able to save it. All right. That's how we analyze it. That's how we still save it, right? But this time you can see that I didn't name it any index. I just named it watch list, all right? Why I name it watch list is that in order for you to create your watch list or align your watch list, this time around, you don't need to do them one by one to take your time. 
what you have to do this time around is once you have made up your mind let's say for me i'm having i'm having uh 10 one s index here i'm going to have 75 and then 75 one s in my watch list once you have made up your mind for watch list what you have to do is to navigate to this particular icon here under the cam under the camera icon if you put your cursor on it for a while it's going to show you watch list if you click on that watch list here you can add all of those indexes that we used to go to that place and come back and you know click on save and click on copy you can now click this watch list and then you click on this add uh symbols this plus sign and you add all you want to have on your watch list now you're going to click for me i said 751 s 75 index and then 751 s index once you click any of them it will bring them to your watch list just like the other trading view that all of us know all right so this time around for the saving of charts how it works is that let's say i'm analyzing right break and then we're looking for where price is going to likely reverse from it's going to be somewhere there this is just rough analysis i'm just trying to illustrate so that we can for the sake of this video so i'm having it like so right this is my analysis right but for this one i am not going to click on the save because i'm not done analyzing my watch list all right so let's go to the watch list we click on 75 index we're also going to analyze it before we finally come and click the save so you have to do all your analysis before you finally click on the save that is how this one works so once you click on the save once you are done you don't have to click on the save one by one for each and every index again so let's say we're going to price going to come here before keep uh, before buying to the upside we have break here so let's say price going to buy from here right to continue our trend and then let's go to the final index which is 75 1s index so let's delete what we have there let's delete what we have there currently i was actually teaching someone that's why i had all those trend lines stuff there so we have what break of structure to the downside price is likely to react from where let's just say this level all right so we're going to put our long and short to from the top to the base and like so so this is what we have analyzed now you can see that after analyzing each and every index i didn't click on save right if i go back to 75 index i'm going to see that everything that i analyzed before coming to 75 one is they are still there if i go back to it was 10 one s index right if i go back to 10 one s index and we click on it to come up you're going to see that what we also had on it is still there you can see right it's still there so after you finish all of this analysis on your watch list what you're going to do is to click on that save this is how you now save all right you don't have to click on save for each and every index anymore no you have to put them into the watch list this is how you create the watch list by adding them here and then clicking on save to save your watch list for those of us that um came through falcon if you understand if you actually went to the falcon academy the falcon if you, if you were under the falcon mentorship itself by mark there's there was a time he used to tell us that we sh we should have um i think five or whatever pairs on our watch we should have a particular watch list that we call wild card the wild card is kind of like something you know that it's not going to get ready soon maybe you analyze from a very hard time frame so if you are having that type of mindset if you analyze something that now stop that maybe you're going to keep this one for scalp you're going to keep this one for day trading you're going to you know do this to that one if you have that type of mindset that's what you do with this very type of future that the river brought to us so this is my watch list. These are the ones that I immediately trade on them. If I want to keep some indexes for long-term trading or I just want to see them, I'm just looking at them and they are not close to point of interest is here. I want to keep them. I can just name it wildcard and then put all of them under that watch list. So this is how you can now easily save your chart and create a watch list using the Reef Trading View. So this is the month of March and this is the month that I take video requests. If you want me to emphasize on anything or teach anything anything that you have a clue or you know that i know and you want me to teach it out here on youtube please leave a request in the comment section below all right guys so i hope that was helpful please don't forget to say a comment in the section below if you enjoyed the video and like i said this is the month of march this is my birthday month and i take video requests so anything that you know that i understand or i know and you want me to elaborate more or anything you have watched in this channel or any of the videos whatever concept i've taught in the videos and you want me to you know go back on them and el elaborate please don't forget to see or comment in the comment section i'll be glad to give you my birthday cake that way thanks for watching